the Francis guy not here, right? Um, maybe we can wait. Uh, I'm uh, the co-host, so there is no problem. Francesca is around. Oh, sorry, the Francesco Ticosi. I mean. Francesca is uh, so. Hello, Italo. I'm here. Recording. I know. I'm sorry. I. I, I... to introduce the quantum fusion theory. And the final purpose of today, we want to achieve, we want to obtain the stochastic master equation. Obtain the stochastic master equation, which describe the time and evolution of the state of the open quantum system undergoing the continuous time, homo dent detection, okay. And here's some basic settings, and we suppose the, the state of the field is always the, in the the vacuum state E zero, which is a vacuum vector. Okay, and uh, for the for the system for the state on the system, because our the system is finite dimensional on the HS. I mean the the Hilbert space is always finite dimensional, so we use the the trees, the trees and the some density operator to describe the the state on the the HS. Okay, the, the row is the density operator. Then we can obtain the quantum to uh, quantum probability space. Denoted by A and uh, C. C is denoted by the, is described by the CS tensor product with CR. Okay. And the last uh, course, I've already shown you this diagram to introduce the procedure of quantum filtering. We have the input field and it uh, is characterized by the AT and the AT dagger. Okay, and then it interacts with the system and we can obtain the, the, the quantum flow with the time evolution of the observable in the Heisenberg picture, where the UT, the UT is the solution of the HP equation and the UT is a unitary operator. Then we can obtain the output field and by the whole montant detection, we can measure the optic field and we can obtain the observation precise. Okay, denoted by yt. Then what we want to do is we want to construct a filter based on the observation precise and we want to construct an optimal estimation of the quantum, the quantum flow JTX. Okay, and the optimal estimation is exactly the condition expectation condition on the fundamental algebra generated by observation precise. So uh, based on this diagram, I will show you there, there are several properties. Sorry. There are several properties. In fact, what I already showed you, the, the properties on the observation process. The first one is called self non demolition property. Which means the yt can be measured in a single realization. And the second one is non demolition property. I mean, we can define the, the joint statistic of the JTX and the event of the system and the observation precise is well defined. In other words, which means the, the conditional expectation is well defined. Okay, and the third one is just by applying the some basic property of the conditional expectation, we have the state of the quantum flow is exactly the state of the best optimal estimation. Okay, so our objective of this course is obtain. Uh, explicit 
expression. The, of the optimal estimation in terms of the observation precise. Uh, one T, what is Okay, this is our objective. In terms of the observation precise. Okay, firstly, I'll show you an important lemma, a result. It's for any observable in this form. And we define a state. Where the UT is a unit operator is the solution of the HP equation. HP equation. And then we have the pi t, the optimal estimation, the optimal estimation x, which is defined as the conditional expectation given the, the fundamental algebra generated by the observation process. And in fact, we can express in this form whether the t is a phonoma algebra generated by the input noise, okay. which is commutative and the yt in the one generated by the observation precise. And we have already shown you that Okay, and the proof is very easy. In fact, it's very direct because we suppose for any operators belongs to the ZT, belongs to the, the fundamental algebra ZT. And of course we have the UT star is UT, belongs to the YT, the fundamental algebra YT, okay? So we have the state Because this ut is unitary, so this is identity, uh, just by the definition of our state. By the definition of the state, and we can write omega t. Sorry, the wt, omega t. X, z, t, s, in this form, right? It's just the definition of the, the omega t. And uh, by in definition of a conditional expectation, and uh, we can write this form. And now we pass to the uh, CT, uh, C again. We just add the UT star. Okay, just the definition of the omega t. And by the definition of the conditional expectation again, we have okay. Because in fact this one is the GTX. So finally, we have this part equals to this part. Okay, so this one equals to this one, the C almost surely. And this result is very important for us to apply in the quantum filtering theory. Okay, 
So we want to give some, we want to try to apply the, the Bayes formula directly on this expression and try to obtain some, try to obtain some, some equations uh, just to see that is it possible. So we just apply the Bayes formula, just as the similar argument, the procedure in the classical uh, filtering theory. And we, we apply the Bayes formula for the, for the expression what we obtain on this form, okay? Because we define the omega t. What we define is omega tx is something like that. Okay. If we apply the Bayes formula for this expression, we can obtain that the C U T X right now there is some conditions the assumption need to satisfy it, uh, if we want to apply the Bayes formula is the change of state operator here is ut need to be in the commutant uh, the zt okay but it's not it's not good it, it's not good for this choice which I need to pay attention for this choice because if our ut is in this commutant, which means the observation precise yt, here's the definition of observation precise, the zt is already the input noise. If the ut belongs to the commutant of zt, which means the observation precise is exactly the input noise, which means there's no interaction and no interaction between the system and the field, okay? Which means we, we, we have no information. So we cannot to uh, obtain the best estimation based on the observation precise. So it's not a good choice, which means we cannot use the UT and the change of state. Operator. Okay, so uh, next the task is to find some some new change of state operator denoted by vt that belongs to this algebra. Okay, such that. This is our task. And then recall again the is describe the all normal operators affiliate related to the commutative phenomenon algebra, which is commutative. Okay. Now the M, the matrix, describe the, the matrix. where the each element Vij is belongs to the algebra of the NZT, okay? So in order to achieve this task, we have a very interesting observation is for these two quantum stochastic uh, differential equation. And 
probably T2. And we are the, the each coefficient, the dt is the same. The dt, dt are the same, and the jt, jt are the same. The difference between these two differential equations only the ft and ft tilde, okay? And we suppose the initial, initial value, the v0 equals to the v0 tilde. And for each coefficient, dt, ft, jt, and ft tilde is in this form. It's bound and precise and in this form. And then we have the VT because our field will be measured, the field will be measured only in the vacuum state, in the vacuum state, okay? So we, I mean, where the E0, just the E0 is interesting for us. Then we can obtain this, is e, this equality for all V in each S and for all T with the capital T finite. And the proof is very easy. And the first slide just by the, uh, the result in the third course, I'll just show you the, the solution, the existence and the uniqueness of the solution of the quantum differential equation, a quantum stochastic differential equation. So we know that the VT and the VT2 is well defined, uh, which are admissible, adapted, precise, okay? And moreover, we need to use the, the fundamental estimation. The mental estimation. Okay, which is a technique uh, proposed by the Houston and Parathasi in his famous paper. And then we can obtain the VT. It's smaller than the CT, the constant depends on the T, okay, the, the capital T. Is. Okay, we can obtain this inequality and adjust it by the Grunwald inequality. And we can obtain the norm is equal to zero, okay? So the proof is complete. And why this result is interesting for us? Because in order to describe the quantum flow, the time evolution of the, the observable, we need to use the solution of the HP equation. And every coefficient, every coefficient is always in this form and bonded. Okay. So what we want to do is because if we choose the U, it's not a good choice uh, for the change of state of operator, the U. So what we want to do is there is uh, some um, some relations is we have the dat e0 equals to zero okay this is very very important because if we have this property which means we can change the coefficient before the dat as we want right so 
we just uh, uh, change the coefficient before the, the annihilation annihilation precise. I can't turn this one. And for this quantum stochastic differential equation, and the solution is not bounded. Okay, it's not bounded because the sufficient and necessary condition to ensure that the solution is bounded is for each coefficient need to satisfy the HP equation. The HP equation, but here we change the minus LT star to the LT star uh, to the LT. Okay, then we can obtain this equation. And of course, it is not bounded. But it is very interesting. Why? Because we can write this as just uh, the differential of the input noise. And we know that, we have already shown that, the ZT is a Brownian motion. OK, because ZT is, is self-adjoint uh, commutative. So by applying the spectral theorem, we know that it, it's just a Brownian motion. So maybe we can transform this by applying the spectral theorem, we can obtain a uh, matrix valued stochastic differential equation in classical sense, okay? So I will show you the, the principal idea. Principal idea for our task. And this idea is given by the, the Curtis book. book, the quantum theory, and its stochastic limit in the chapter six, and also in the Van Handel studies. There's a good, very good introduction. Okay. So the principal idea for this task is first, we know that the ZT, the input noise, by the spectral theorem, we can obtain the star isomorphism such that the corresponding classical precise is exactly like the Brownian motion, right? And then the DVT, the, this one, this, this quantum stochastic differential equations, by the spectral theorem, and we can obtain the okay. We are the LT, the LT here in the quantum stochastic differential equation is in this form. Okay. But LT here is just uh, the part on the HS. And for this equation, it's just a matrix value, stochastic differential equation in Ito's form. Okay. And now we consider the old VT, the solution of this equation with the inverse of the VT here. The VT, sorry, the small VT is just the solution of this matrix value uh, stochastic differential equation. And for this operator, it belongs to this algebra. 
and we can we can show that for this two act the same on a dense subspace. And the, the E here is the exponential domain, which contains all the vectors in this form for the V in the HS, okay? And next, what we want to do is we use the result we have already shown. Uh, by applying the spectral theorem again. We can easily show that in fact. Okay. So finally we can obtain this equality. Perfect. Uh, in the end, I will show you our first important theorem, which is called quantum column pure strip L formula. Okay, which in fact we just apply the Bayes formula here. We just apply B formula here. We can obtain the exactly the result. And for any operators belong to the the bound and which are the bound and operator on the HS, you have the the optimal estimation is given by this form. I want to show that. Then we apply the Bayes formula on the omega t we have. This is pressure, okay? And in fact, the proof is direct. We just, uh, we need to apply the base formula and I've already shown you in the last course. And there's only one thing that we need to pay attention is if we want to apply the base formula, we need to verify that, we need to check. The assumption said that the VT and the VT need to be positive strictly, okay? And in fact, this can be verified easily because for the, the solution of this equation, okay, if this is the solution of the VT, if the VT, the solution of this stochastic differential equation is inversible, okay, which means that we can obtain, we can show that the VT star, the VT is positive, right? Strictly. And for this one, almost surely, we can find this result in the, for example, in, in a lot of books and uh, give a reference for this proof. The protest book, stochastic. equation and and differential equation the book of 2005 in the page okay so very nice we have already the quantum column pure formula and what we want to do is because our objective is to obtain 
an explicit expression of the optimal estimation in terms of in terms of the observation precise. Okay, but now what I have already show you is the VT. You we can write uh, just the the VT. Okay, and the VT is it's a solution of stochastic differential equation driven by the ZT is not YT. So what we want to do is we pass this solution uh, which driven by the YT. Okay. We define another a classical stochastic differential equation, a matrix value. We just change the, the ZT to the YT. T bar where the V zero is eta decay. Okay, which is also the the matrix value sto it in the stochastic differential equation in those form. And we suppose that T uh, is finite. Therefore, all X belong to the bound and which are bound and operator on HS. And we define okay, and the VT bar is a solution of this stochastic differential equation, and the sigma T bar is called the unnormalized filter. And then we define the normalized filter okay. Okay, and then and this one is our optimal estimation in the quantum sense. Okay, and here we need to apply where we apply the, the spectral theorem. The on the yt, yt is a is a fundamental algebra generated by the observation precise. Okay, which can also write it in this form. The zt is a fundamental algebra generated by the input noise. By applying the spectral theorem on this fundamental algebra, the commutative fundamental algebra, we can obtain. Uh, major space, okay, and a star isomorphism, and also a probability measure induced by the state on this fundamental algebra. Okay, so the first result is we have this relation, and the second one is the observation precise y t. It's a Brownian motion on the Q, another probability measure, which is defined by okay. Which means the sigma t identity here is our uh, random nickel derivative.
And first, they will define two map for the proof. Uh, the Uta Z, sorry. Uta Z. The, from the fundamental algebra ZT to the bounded, the random variable. And also we define the, the Uta Y. Based on this two map, we can define the, the map, the desired map from the yt to the L infinity, sigma that, f that, to mu that. Well, suppose we denote the, the x, y as the element belongs to the yt. Okay, which means that every the ut x y and ut star is an element in the z t in this fundamental algebra. So we have the the uta x y is equals to the uta z ut x y the ut star right. And next, we define the two probability measure on this sigma algebra, Fz. The first one is, we call that the P. Okay, for the xy. And for the second one, we call that Q. Where the XZ belongs to the ZT. We we'll define these two probability measure on the XZ, okay? And then we know that the YT is defined by this one and be, between the, by using the relation between the IZ and I, uh, Uta Z and Uta, we have the UT, YT, UT star, right? okay. And this is exactly the ZT, right? Okay. And we have already showed that the ZT is a Brownian motion under the probability measure Q. So, which means we have already showed the second result, the YT is a Brownian motion under the probability measure Q. Great. And next, we continue to use this uh, star isomorphism, the Utah on the Optim optimal estimation, pi tx. And by the definition, uh, we have this one. Okay. And in fact, now we need to use the property, the result here. We need to use the result here, the pi tx equals to the ut star, omega t, and the ut. So what we can obtain is just the omega t, t, right? And due to the Colin Pure Stribel formula, we have A 
okay? This is directly the, the column pure strip L formula. And now, due to our definition, due to our definition of the pi t bar here, and by applying the, the spectral theorem, it's, it's straightforward, we can obtain this part equals to the, the pi t bar, right? And next, uh, sorry. And the last one, I will show you the relation between these two property measure, the P and the Q. And we denoted the Fy as any functional of the precise, the observation precise. For the expectation under the measurement under the property measure P of Fy okay. close to, to the state of inverse of the Fy, right? And we we'll just add this two. So we know that this part is an element between the ZT. So we can, and because, which means now the UT star times something and the UT, okay? And this part also we can write in this form. Now we need to use the the result what we showed here. Okay. The P U T X U T equals to the P V T star X V T. By using this inequality, we just change the, the, the change of state operator. Oh, sorry. We have this formula, and then we know this part. Can, in fact, this part, this term is in this form. Okay. And the change of state operator VT is an element in this algebra. And so, which means this two is commutative. Okay, we just uh, commuted these two parts. Uh, and we can obtain the expectation uh, under the property major Q. Okay. Um, this one is exactly the Sigma T bar identity is our, is our definition now, just our definition. So we have well defined the, this is exactly the, our dessert, the random Nicodine derivative. Okay, so the proof. Very nice, we have almost every result what do we need. And there is still a result very interesting is we define the innovation precise. Precise uh, denoted by the WT, which is YT. YT is observation precise.
And this process is called innovation process. And in fact, the innovation process WT, it's a Brownian motion under the probability measure P. Okay. This is very easy to show that because we can just apply the, the classical, the Eto's formula on the, we apply the Eto's formula on the D identity, okay. And the the sigma T identity, we, we just, uh, we develop this form, extend this form, and we can obtain the, in fact, it's just, Sorry. The VT here. Because the PCS, the PCS can be written as the transform, uh, the, the trace of the density operator times something. So we can just the 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 permit the we can just put the, the derivative in this trace. Okay, so we can obtain this expression and we continue to apply the Eto's formula. Uh, we can obtain that. Okay, and we have by the definition of this one, the, the pi t bar equals to the sigma t bar x over the sigma t bar identity. So we can write this part as the pi t bar. Sigma T. Okay. So, uh, derivative of this one equal to this one. And due to this part, equal to this part, uh, which means the sigma T identity is a uh, Zsenov, Zsenov transformation. And because the, the yt is a Brownian motion under the probability measure q. So by applying the Jacksonov theorem, we know the innovation process wt is a Brownian motion under the probability measure p. Okay. So here is our most important theorem. It's called the quantum Kushner Stadanovich equation. We can obtain this to stochastic differential equation. DYT. And also the stochastic differential equation with respect to the, for the optimized emission. Where the L star here is a joint of lean blood operator. The d omega t omega t here is the innovation process.
and then before the initial value, so can I buy this one? So John Jeff in the blood operator. Okay. So based on this, this equation, based on this one, we know that the pi tx is a state, so we can always, sorry, just the color is the stochastic master equation. We just let the, the row t be a random, random density matrix. Such that the pi tx equals to the trees rho tx. Okay. So the rho t here is a the random density matrix. And due to this theorem, due to this equation, due to this equations, and we we can obtain an equation with respect to the our random density matrix rho t. So we obtain this one. Okay, and this part is exactly the innovation process, which is the Brownian motion on the, the probability measure P. Where the LT is a limb blood operator. And we suppose the initial value is given by some density operator. Okay. Here is a, this equation is called stochastic master equation. And moreover, due to this equation, the differential equation with respect to the unnormalized filter, the D sigma t bar, and we can obtain a quantum Zaka equation. Quantum Zaka equation. And we write the CT be a random uh, self adjoint are matrix such that the sigma t x bar equals to the choice the c t x. And then we can obtain the differential equation with respect to the c t. Let's say zero is equal to rho, okay? Which means this two is the same, the same initial value. Because this, if, in fact, we can see that this, this Zaka equation is a linear function, it's a linear equation. 
So we can show this Zaka equations. Yeah, sorry. Has a unique, unique solution. And this is very easy to show that we just apply the, because this equation satisfy the the global the Lipschitz condition. Okay, Lipschitz condition. We can show that that equation has only unique the solution. And moreover. Just by applying the classical Eto's formula, we can show that the solution of the stochastic master equations and satisfying this relation. Okay, so which means we can we can show that uh, for the stochastic master equation has a unique strong solutions in this in this space. Okay. So until now we have we have already obtained the uh, stochastic master equation, which can describe the time evolution of the open quantum system undergoing the non demolition continuous time uh, homodyne detection. Okay, but in this case, what we shown is we suppose our measurement, the homodyne detection is perfect. There is no uh, noise for the observation. Well, uh, next we will consider the case where the, the observation is imperfect. Imperfect detection. Okay, I just know that. And in order to model the imperfect detection, what we want to do is we we add some additional additional noise. The BT, the BT dagger is another annihilation precise uh, creation precise to the observation. To the observation precise. Of course, in, we always suppose that we, we measure in the vacuum state. And now, uh, with the total uh, Hilbert space about this. This focus space is for the observation precise. Uh, we add another one for the noise. So our state come to It's always the vacuum state, vacuum state. And we can also extend the unitary operator, which is the solution of the HP equations to this one, okay? So because the UT is in this form, so the quantum flow doesn't change. Uh, But we, the observation precise, the yt tube is 
so the yt t the zt plus the epsilon epsilon b t the bt that okay this is the input noise the input input and this is our noise this belongs to the sorry okay and obviously the bt plus bt dagger commute with the ut so we can turn Right, and this is our YT. And this is our model of the imperfect detection, which means we add additional noise to the observation precise. Over, we denoted the, the YT too. Uh, the phenomenon algebra generated by the yt to the sort of ways which is also commutative phenomenon algebra okay so our objective now is to find, to obtain the explicit expression of the best estimation, GTX, condition on the YT tilt. Because we have already shown that, in fact, what, what I, I introduced the quantum sorry the the quantum the quantum conditional expectation just by applying the the spectral theorem is exactly the classical one because everything is commutative so it's exactly the classical one the conditional expectation so we can use the properties for the classical uh, conditional expectation and by applying the inverse of uh, spectral theorem, we can obtain the property on the conditional, uh, the, on the quantum conditional expectation, okay? So we have this one. So larger fundamental algebra. Okay, because this one is larger than that one, it's just a sub fundamental algebra of this bigger one. And moreover, because the the BT, the noise, additional noise. Is independent with the, the observation precise and uh, our quantum flow. Okay. Very related property in the classical conditional expectation, and we have. This one, and this is exactly the pi t x. We have already know the dynamics of the pi t x. So 
actually. Another problem is the the pi t x is not linear. So we cannot just put the the pi, sorry, the psi in the pi t x. So we need to use the quantum filtering theory, the, the filtering theory. Which means we need the Bayes formula. And here I denoted the, the new optimal estimation as the pi t t. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And I firstly, oh, I firstly define the the yt tube. by the spectral theorem. On the yt tilde, we can obtain this stochastic, uh, stochastic precise, and we denote the sigma algebra generated by the yt tilde. So, for the classical filtering theory. which is defined by this one. Okay, because from now on, this is our objective. And by applying spectral theorem, we can apply this one. We can apply this one. So this is our purpose. We just need to uh, calculate this one. by the Bayes formula. Sorry, sorry. Pi t bar. The pi t bar x, we have already dynamics of uh, this, uh, this past estimation. X. Okay, this is just uh, uh, the biggest formula. And we have already showed that we've already this one, okay? The d pi ta bar. So the, the sigma t bar lt star x plus x dyt. We've already obtained this equation. There's no problem. And the yt is a Brownian motion under the q. And because we will suppose the bt is applying the spectral theorem on the additional noise. And this is also the Brownian motion. Also the Brownian motion under the precise Q, uh, under the probability Q, and which is independent with YT, with our observation precise. So uh, we have this one. Right, because we define our yt, because we define our yt like this. Okay, the yt tilde 
is the yt plus the epsilon bt plus bt dagger. So applying the spectral theorem, we can obtain this equation in the classical, uh, classical sense. Here is a little, uh, just by what we define the a matrix, orthogonal matrix. Okay, on the yt and the bt. Because the Brownian motion uh, is is invariant on the orthogonal transformation. Okay, and this is. Autogonal matrix. And these two are independent. Brownian motion. So we can obtain the okay. and this one. The first element is exactly this one, and this one. Yes. Yes. Independent. Wait. Okay. And moreover, we know for this. We can easily calculate the quadratic variation. That's one. And now we define, sorry, we define this coefficient as the eta, which means the eta down to zero and one. If this equal to zero is one, sorry. So finally, we have this one. In fact, what we did here is just we decompose the yt to this two form. Okay, and uh, we decompose the yt. Sorry. Decompose the yt. Yt plus. And another thing is this equation is linear, the sigma t x, sigma t sorry sigma t bar x is linear. Now we just need to apply the the classical filtering theory for the reference probability approach. Here's some reference for the Schindler's book. Introduction to the plastic filtering theory. And we 
take in the expected the conditional expectation. We can obtain Okay, which means we apply the conditional expectation, we take the conditional expectation on this equation. I think the expression for the sigma t bar is linear at the y t t and the y t t, the, the, this one, the y t t, this is independent with the y t t. So if we calculate, the, if we take the conditional expectation and uh, we can just uh, the, the cancel this, this term, okay? And we can obtain this equation for the, for the detailed proof we can find in the book, in this book, in Shunji's book in the lemma 5.4, okay? So finally, we obtain this differential equations and just apply the the sigma t tiered this conditional expectation. Okay. And then moreover, we define our normalized observation process. And the yt hat. Why we, we, we add this constant? Because we have already calculated the, the quadratic variation for this uh, yt tilde is one plus sigma square t. Okay, so we need to normalize this observation process. So we add this constant. And we define the, the eta as the one derivative the one over the one plus sigma, uh, one plus the, the epsilon square. Okay. So we have where the initial value of the t, this one. Okay. And so we just apply the uh, Ito's formula on this equation and we can turn the best estimation And this is a new innovation process. We define the WTT and the YT hat. YT hat is here, YT hat minus eta okay. 
which is also a Brownian motion under the probability measure P, okay? So finally, we can obtain our stochastic master equation on the imperfect detection. It's given by the row T, D row T in blood and operators. Which belongs to the row one. Okay, so finally we obtain this stochastic master equation. And in the following, we will consider this stochastic master equation on the imperfect measurement at our starting point. And I will show some uh, control problem and some result on this stochastic master equation. Okay, uh, I think that's all for today's course. Do you have any questions? Thank you, Major. So, any questions? Uh, in fact, today's course is not very uh, quantum. It's not a lot quantum. It's almost uh, just uh, we just use the spectral theorem. We transform the quantum to the classical things, and we, we, what we 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 apply is just uh, the classical filtering theory. In fact, <clears throat> yeah. So. So, so Tristan, remember when you were teaching uh, the similar stuff in 2014, how do you, how do you compare? Uh, do you remember it? Yeah, I remember. Um, it's, so I, I never talked about uh, non-perfect uh, efficiency measurement, like from one, maybe two, but it's the same thing, it's the same idea behind it. And, like, yeah, the same thing. Okay. Do you have the notes of your course still? Of my old uh, lectures? Are you teaching on the blackboard? I remember that. It's still, it's still yeah, I, I taught on blackboard and I don't think I kept uh, the notes. I'm sorry. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so any, so, so any other, other? Uh, I'm I'm a bit lost with the, the big picture. Could you go back to your, your first page? You had some sort of Log diagram, sort of the roadmap, and maybe uh, recap that. Yeah, recap that and say what we did today, where, where it fits. Ah, uh, okay. Just uh, a big picture, just as a yeah, reminder. I, I see. In fact, what we did today is, is, is just this part. <laughs> we, in fact, uh, we have already described the things, all of these things. It's for me, it's in a quantum case, okay? But the observation process is exactly because the observation process is, is commutative. So in fact, it's, it's, just a, it's just a classical stochastic process. And this is why we want to use the, the filter, filtering theory. We can base the, on this uh, stochastic uh, process, the observation process, we can uh, find the, the best estimation. And here, you know, because the, the filter is not linear, it's not linear, it's not linear function. So we cannot just apply the, the conditional expectation we need in order to obtain the in order to obtain the explicit expression of the best estimation. We need some change of the measure or some method, in fact. So here, what I used is called, normally for the stochastic filtering theory is two approach. The first approach is called innovation approach. And the second one is called the, the probability, uh, the reference probability measure. This is why I applied the, the uh, Bayes formula just to uh, change the probability measure, okay? So this is more easy to calculate, the, to obtain the final expression. So what do we obtain today? In fact, we just uh, to apply the Bayes formula, what we introduced before, uh, the finally we can obtain the, the, the stochastic master equation. This is what I want to, what do we obtain today? So in fact, today, it's just uh, the last part, last part. We worked on the last part. I don't so know. The, what would be the physical picture behind what he was talking today? Sorry? What would be the physical picture behind what he was talking? Okay, uh, because 
for example, what I considered is only for the open quantum system, which means that there is a system and interact with the field, which means the measured by uh, the, the output of the field can be measured. Okay, uh, I just uh, show something. Okay, there's a the system. Uh, the commute with, with the field, the input field and output field. For example, here the system, for example, we just consider the, the qubit, qubit system, okay. And the, the state of the qubit system can be described by the density operator, right? Which means that the qubit can be described by some two dimensional, the, okay. For example, if we want, uh, we have some initial state of our QB system. And if we want to, to uh, how to do that? If we, we have some, the final state of the, our system, we want to control our system, stabilize our system, the, the QB system to the final state. For example, the final state, our target state is a excited state. Okay. The zero one, for example, but initial state, we don't know. For example, it's not the, the excited state. It's something like the, the, for example, something like that. So from the, this equation, the stochastic master equation on the, with the imperfect detection, which can describe the time of evolution of the state of the qubit, okay? So we can, based on this dynamics, we can, we can know what happened and we can construct a feedback controller to control our state, to control our qubit and to achieve our control objective which means we can stabilize to, we can find some uh, feedback controller, feedback laws to control our system to, toward the target state. For me, this is some physic picture maybe. What, what do you call the feedback control in this equation? Ah, sorry. Uh, for the P code, the LT. Can you take it? Where is LT? Where is LT? Maybe I have already right that. Okay, I will rewrite. The LT normally is something. The lean blood operator here is in the row. H T the row T plus L T something like that. Okay, uh, so I just finished this part. L T row L T star minus Okay, this is a definition of the uh, uh, this part. Okay, we have this one. Uh, the uh, normally we can write the Hamiltonian part as the H zero times the U T H one. Okay, and we normally we call that the H zero as the free Hamiltonian. It's a Hamiltonian of the or qubit, for example, here, and H one is the part we want to control the system. Because for example, we have the system and we can, we can change the state of the system by some magnetic field, uh, by some magnetic field here. And this uh, corresponds to some, uh, the, 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 the measure, some measure, okay. Which means we controlled this part. So the UT here correspond to the strength of the magnetic field and the UT uh, for example, is some uh, scalar bound and scalar function here. If and we that's what yeah. you have access to. That's what you can change. Yeah, yeah. Which okay. means that Thanks. this, yeah, this ut. For example, if we don't have the feedback, which means the ut is just a function uh, of the time, which is called open loop. And if the ut is some function of the row t here, is some function of the row t here, we call that the feedback because we feed the state back to the system. 
for this, this two part. In fact, this is this two two method of the feedback. And here in the physics language, we call that Bayesian Bayesian feedback. Okay. And in the control theorist, we call that a state feedback. And also, there's another one, uh, the feedback of the output with the, the function, some function, uh, functional of the observation process. In the control theorist, we call that the, the output feedback. And in the, in the physics language, we call that Markovian feedback. And this is a work of the Wiesmann's work, a very famous work. Thanks, that helps. Thanks. Okay, anything else? Well, okay, then for those who are joining uh, tomorrow, it's uh, one o'clock, I guess. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys, thank you. Thank, thank you, Vesha. Okay, you're welcome. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, bye. Thank you, bye.